welcome to AstroVenture, the DSLR Astrophotography Channel. Hey everyone, welcome to AstroVenture. This is the Astrophotography Channel for DSLR and mirrorless cameras combined with the lenses we already own and simple Star Trekker like the Sky Guider Pro or the Star Adventure. My name is George and I'm glad to have you along. Now, today we need to talk about an upcoming comet here and this is going to be Comet 12P Pons Brooks. And this particular comet is um, really exciting because uh, one, it's a 71 year comet comes round and round similar to Halley's and the thing is with this one is it is massive. They estimate that it's anywhere from 18 to 25 miles across and not only being large, big, uh, it's also a cryovolca cryovolcanic comet meaning it has ice eruption and it explodes out and in the last four months there's actually been two explosions off of the surface of this very large comet and as a result they've been kind of calling it the uh, devil comet or they've been calling it the millennium falcon comet and the reason being is because it's got two tails coming off of it and when i say two tails they're they're very prominent uh is they're not small wispy tails and so with this uh, I want you to get 12 Pons Brooks into your Stellarium, pro Stellarium program. I'm going to teach you how to do that today so that you can get it in there and then start planning for June of 2024. And the reason why I want to get you started on that now is because with the size of this comet, we should all really be able to capture some great images. They're uh, the experts in the field are suspecting that this one may get as bright as naked eye visible. And so if you can start planning now, get yourself into some darker sky area in June to correlate that along with the new moon weekend, you should be able to really get some nice prominent images of that comet popping out. So with that said, I'm going to go ahead and jump over to Stellarium and I'll teach you how to put Comet 12 12 P Pons Brooks into the Stellarium program. Okay, join you at the computer. All right, so the first thing you're going to do is open up your Stellarium program and uh, we'll walk you through from there. So I'll give just a moment. Here we go. And we're going to come over to the wrench with the star. Click that. And then what you're going to do is move up here to plugins. Give this a click. Okay. Then you're going to come over here to the side, slide this down, and you are looking for Solar System Editor. Let's see here. Solar System Editor, there it is. Solar System Editor, I don't know how I didn't see that the first time. Then uh, you're going to move over here to Configure. Okay, now once you have that done, you're going to move into Solar System. And then from there, you're going to move down here to Import Orbital Elements in MPC Format. Click that. And expand that out. And then you're going to select Comets. Wish I could photograph asteroids. Uh, just not, doesn't work out. Not enough light there. Then I'm going to move to Select, a, uh, select Bookmark. And we're going to drop this down. And then the one you want is Gideon Van Butenen Comets. Click on that one, and then you're going to move to Get Orbital Elements. Okay, now once that comes up. Now, the first time that I did this, uh, and I don't know, maybe my Stellarium program simply had to update it into uh, the system. I don't know, whatever it was. I couldn't initially locate the, um, the comet. Uh, so like I said, maybe it was updating, maybe I was goofing up. But anyway, let's go back to it. So with this one, normally comets start off, as you see here, like with the letter C. Uh, this one does not. You're going to type in, without any spaces, 12, the letter P, 
and then forward slash and you could see it's actually auto populated but if it didn't auto populate for you and you will click this box here if it didn't auto populate for you this is the spelling that it's looking for so 12 p forward slash pons hyphen brooks and then you're going to click on add objects okay and then that will go ahead and add it into the system and you can go ahead and close this out give this just a moment there we go close that out close that out okay and then let's see here we'll do a quick search come up here 12 p there it is boom okay and here it is it's pointing me off to it <laughs> obviously uh i'm in a daytime study at the moment but there it is and it is on its way towards us for uh you know a rendezvous of uh june of 2024. so i hope that uh that wasn't too quick for you if not you know feel free to back this up and uh, play it again and go ahead and get this added in but yeah i just wanted to point this out how to bring in 12p pawns slash or pawns hyphen brooks because of the fact that normally comments are configured with the letter C in front of them, but this one was not. Well, there you have it. That's how you get it into uh, Stellarium. It was a little bit different because usually comments are listed with a C at the beginning, and this particular one is not. But I hope that helped. And uh, if you like what we're doing here at Astro Venture, I want to, uh, you know, welcome you and invite you over to our Facebook group, Astro Venture DSLR. And uh, consider liking, subscribing, ringing the bell, and sharing this video out. Help us grow the channel. Till next time, I wish you clear skies and uneventful nights.